What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial today I am going to show you on how to play dynamic footsteps depending on the surface that you're on. It's gonna be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. But first, check out the link in the description to learn how to make an FPS shooter in Unreal Engine 5 with all the mechanics you need in only one week. And if you use the coupon code GORKA GAMES in all caps, you get 20% off. So check it out through the link in the description. Alright, so the first thing we need is of course the footstep sounds itself. In my case I have three, one for grass, one for metal, and one for wood. So you will need to go ahead and just grab those. Okay, so now what we need to do is create the different surfaces that we will be able to detect. So for that let's go up into edit, project settings, search here, surface, and now we can see all of the physical surface that we can add. In this case, gonna go to the first one, and let's just add grass. Then in the next one, it's gonna be metal, and then last one, it will be wood. So you add all the ones that you want. Okay, so now what we need to do is create the fisk material itself. If we select any mesh, we can go and see the fisk material. All right, and that's what we're gonna go ahead and just plug it in. So let's go to the content browser, right click, go into physics and choose a physical material i'm gonna select the base class and this will be uh, pm or oh, physical material underscore in this case i'm gonna name this grass and i'm gonna duplicate this and name it uh, sand <laughs> uh, metal i don't have sand and then i will name this wood so now i need to enter in each of them and the only thing i have to do is assign the surface type so for grass, this will be grass, which is what we have just assigned. Then for metal, this will be metal. Sorry, metal. We don't have to change anything else, okay? Unless you want to change the friction or whatever. And for wood, this will be wood. So now with that said, we have everything set up. So let's go ahead, select our matches in the level that we want to apply a thing and assign the specific physics material. Now, I'll leave that for later, so let's go ahead and just carry on with the logic itself. So what I need to do is make a blueprint that will basically shoot a line from our feet into the ground so we can detect in which surface we are standing on. So for that, what I'm going to do is create an anim notify. An anim notify is a blueprint that I will be able to call in a specific point in the animation. In this case, where the feet are touching the ground. So this is right click, go into blueprint class, all classes, and name, notify, and it'll be this a name notify, not the state, okay, it'll be just the one that says a name notify and the parent. So BP underscore foot step a name notify. Let's go ahead and open this up. And now what I want to do is go into the functions override and on the receive notify. So when this notify is called, what I want to do is some stuff. In this case, for example, let's go and just play a sound at location, which will be the one of the footsteps. For example, I don't know, wood. So this is temporary, okay? Of course, we're gonna decide which footstep we want to place, but this is an example. So now I can show you that if we go into the character, mannequins, animations, Queen in my case, I'm using now, and let this load. And then once it loads, I enter into the you know, run animation, which is here. I can now go into each specific notify, add a new track, which will be, you know, footsteps. And now when the feet touches the ground, which, you know, with our real animations, it's already marked over here, but if not, you have to, you know, get the point where the feet touches the ground, which is around here right click add notify in this case we can search our bp uh, footstep and name notify with that you can just copy go to the next point press here paste to the next point click it's important it's important you click where you want and then you just put it there and there we go so each time the foot reaches the ground okay with that said if i press play now you will hear the footsteps going on as i walk so now let's make it that of course it will detect which one it has to play so let's go and we can close the animation go back to any modify and before all of this what we have to do is a line trace by channel 
a line trace will be an invisible line that will go from one point to another. In this case, from our character down into the floor. So we just want to get the mesh component and get the owner. So the owner of the mesh. Now we can simply just get the actor location. So this will be the starting point. And then what I want to do is get the up vector of the character and just times this by a value. In this case, I want to right click, convert this into a float, and this will be around minus 200. So it will shoot a ray downwards, okay? So from our starting point downwards. The only thing left is to go ahead and add a, this to vectors, and that will be our end point, okay? So this is negative because, of course, we want down vector, but there's not such a thing as down vector, so we have to, you know, uh, multiply by a negative num number and, uh, and then a value of how. Uh, you want to go down. So now if we you set this for duration, we should see that each time we walk uh, We cannot see anything. Oh, yeah, we see it, but it's very um, It's hard to see basically uh, So if we go into here, we can change this to just be persistent And you can see it is happening, but it doesn't render when my camera is a bit far away for some reason is the first time this actually happens to me, but you can see that they're rendering, okay, while well, my footsteps are going. A bit strange in that part, I don't know why they disappear, but anyway. So, go ahead and just put this back to none, because we don't want to debug it. And then let's continue if we have actually hit something. So, we have, have uh, hit something, we want to get the surface type. So, with that, we can do a switch on enumerator. So, depending on our surface, we can do it. You can see that they will show up the ones that we have. So, in this case, for wood, we will have this one, which is, of course, for wood. Let's copy and paste this. For metal, we'll have, well, the metal footstep. So, let's search for metal footstep, copy and paste. And then, last but not least, for grass, it will be, of course, grass. So now I can just plug this into the output, and then if this is false, I'll directly just go into the output, okay? I don't need to play a footstep because we are not on the ground or whatever reason. So now you will see that by default nothing will play because of course we are in a mesh that doesn't have any physics uh, material. So if I were to put this to be with the grass, now if I press play, you can see the grass playing. Now maybe it is not too loud, so I could just bump up a bit the footsteps, so maybe I can put the grass to be at 2, and the metal to be at 1.3, and the wood to be at 1.2. So you will just hear them a bit better in the recording. But now if I press play, you can see the, the grass footsteps play. So if I now were to just get, for example, this object, change the material of the object, so it's a bit clearer, and put this to be on wood, Okay, for example, yeah, this wood over here. Then I go and put the other physics material, which is the wood. Now, and you go through here, the wood material starts to play. And then I go out. So this is exactly what we want. And we can do the same, just duplicate it and put it to be with the uh, metal. So the uh, PM metal, which is the one that we created, not the other one, which is a custom one from Unreal. And then we can just search for metal and we can put, you know, whatever metal we want. For example, we use the uh, steel press play. You can see now this first step will play. So that's it for this tutorial. If you found it helpful, I would really appreciate if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials, so check them out. The private files will be available in my Patreon or YouTube members, so check them out. Join my Discord server, follow me on my socials, and now, yes, with all I said, bye bye.